Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 3. Uh, and here we're going to continue our safari adventure. And probably continue to pick up rubbish, because Remember loot in this game is super stuff. useful. So it looks like the frame rate, uh, frame rate is a lot better at this time. I'm not sure what went on with uh, near the end of the last game, but it was pretty bad. There's the Gator Claw that was beating us up, because, or at least significantly because we couldn't dance around it the way that we should have been able to. we had been following the quest a little bit more closely, we would have uh, followed that caveman guy back to here. And there are some apes. <coughs> Follow Cito. Yeah, that's a smell you don't forget. Yeah, this better home. not stick to us. This family. <laughs> No worry. They not hurt you. You friend Sito mean you friend family. Great. I always wanted to be best friends with a bunch of gorillas. Sito glad now you family in the here have no Sito kill. I Sito Sito have Sito eat with fat Wrinkly man say he make mo wrinkly man sorry monsters hurt family. Uh -huh. See don't try help now give shine. Okay, so we were given a hollow tape. Where, where do those go? They're not under radio. Uh, Dermot's hollow, the hollow tape. Or Dr. McDermott's hollow tape. This is Dr. Darren McDermott, last known survivor <laughs> at the Safari Adventure <coughs> Replication Facility. This is my final. So this is kind of I've interesting. It's like this horrible. place was mostly gorilla. Well, the thing I created, the thing I called the Gator Claw, <laughs> they must be destroyed. They can't be tamed. They can't be controlled. <laughs> Their sheer ferocity is like nothing I've ever seen. And now, the Nukagen re <coughs> Replicator is out of control. Producing the matter. I think any real place would probably have Please, a lot more somebody, room for anybody, staff. Anybody, find my passcode. Or Dr. Hines. <coughs> Shut down the replicator before it's... Before it's too late. And if this recording should reach Dr. Hines, please tell him to forgive me. Okay, so we have to talk to Cito again. I should not have left there, but... Oh well. Okay, Cito, there you go. Dead man have important thing? Huh, so it seems like the Gator Claws, or the monsters, are coming from an animal cloning facility somewhere beneath Safari Adventure. Shiny thing, help, new friend. Unless this shiny thing is about new friend, but no worry. Sito, see, go to Sito. Come. No. Sito, stay. Okay, so we're heading to Big Triangle House.
So this is kind of a trope on a whole lot of old science fiction movies about a person raised by apes. It is a little bit ridiculous, but... Yes. If you're missing an item, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee. So this here is probably the big triangle house. Is it shaped like the big triangle? Yeah. Safari Adventure Welcome Center. And apparently there is a cloning facility somewhere in this building. There are definitely some nasty critters down there. So one of the things that you'll notice throughout Nuka World is that there are variants of Nuka-Cola that you don't see in the Commonwealth. They either were exclusive to here or they were being tested here. Now we do probably want to get a shot on these guys while we can. also maybe a visitor center. And the base is in a security lockdown. That is annoying. We have to head back upstairs to to get uh, down into the base proper, but we'll do it. Uh, good. We have the fast travel marker for the primate house, which speed things up, speeds things up a little bit. But yeah, it's kind of a ridiculous trope. I, I suspect that humans raised by apes would not, I mean, they wouldn't speak English. And they probably would, I, I'm just guessing maybe they'd survive without the, the apes eventually killing them, but who knows. It does not sound like a recipe for success in any sense. Okay, Cito. Cito's gone. Yeah, yeah, no have pronouns. It seems like Dr. Hine was kidnapped and taken somewhere called the Angry Anaconda. We find that, oh, and man. we can That's find his passcode to get into the cloning facility. Sound like name of snake. Oh, maybe. I'm sure you know exactly. Yes, it big, ride like it uphill. Good job. Zito. Sito. Big metal snake. Okay, so we have to go to a roller coaster now. <laughs> and the roller coaster is a good ways north of the pub. Well, we'll fast travel to Safari Adventure and see if there's a way to slip out of the park without entering through, uh, without using the southern gate. I'm a little bit rusty on some of the layout of this stuff, so I'm not entirely sure I'm taking us on the most efficient route, but... Okay. Oh, weird. That fast travel marker really took us outside. Okay, so... This is 
a restroom area. solve every mystery in the world. And what we have here is an amusement park. Maybe, no, it's down in, in that trailer park. I think we're pretty good now. This area is highly irradiated, but... This is how we open it. Nice. I 
come down. We injured our arm here, but we still might be good. And if we can manage it, there's a map marker straight ahead. things they are pretty good at being freaky. Remember to show your park admission stuff to get half off an order of Nuka fries at Happy Cafe in Nuka Town, uh, USA. Back, and now we're back at the I'm guessing, was this the triangle for me? Terminal somewhere. Okay, so we've unlocked the door. Cloning machine somewhere down here that we need to turn off. But predictably, we have some friends down here to greet us. Whoa, teleporting friends. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Here's something. There you are. on whatever we find on them. Okay, so, keep moving. Because this is not a place that we really want to hang out while there's a cloning machine spitting out monsters. I may not know what any of this does, but I know that it's shiny. So there's a door it's there. Worse. Panel. You just need to ask it to open nicely, and it will. Up to me, I'd leave that behind, but you're the boss. Yes, I am the boss. terminal. I think he was the guy who accidentally turned uh, this stuff on. And apparently this guy was also a ghoul because he mentioned big changes and stuff like that. And these are his journals. I'm gonna leave that be, but let's grab microscopes because they have... Okay, let's keep moving. Shoot 
this guy in the face. was pretty close. I'm listening. Okay, so... Back down we go. Hope there's no more hidden in here. Something for me. Let's get back down under our travel allowance. Maybe not. We can't do that. Not quite. Well, maybe I will actually eat some of that. 
indicator claw meat. Thing, but apparently there's a door somewhere near here, and we have just unlocked it. Ah, lead outside. Alternative route. ahead. On the other side there, maybe we can focus on the ones that are on this side of that little river thing. Ah, one of them is in this cave. Bear cave. some trap door that leads down into the bear cave. Ah, there is. Okay, well. But unfortunately, I'm out of shotgun shots, and that's gonna make the rest of this kind of special. Um, I think after this Let's Play, I might have to run by and buy as much of that ammo as I can everywhere. is down there. are available for our more sensitive customers at the entrance to the Stampede Carousel. That is adorable. Okay, this is definitely not the right way to go for those that are up north. Oh, so the Angry Anaconda has two remaining, so we'll head up there and take care of those two.
be able to see it. Except there's a second one. There's a chance that I'm going to have to do something that I've never done before with these videos. That is, pause midway through and hope I can st stitch them together well. Uh, that's because I ordered some food. Oh, Now that was interesting out there. We saw uh, one of the anaconda statues with a teapot under it, and I think what that probably was is a reference to a bit of Greek myth, where there uh, Loki did something. Uh, and, and I think he was tied underneath a serpent that was putting venom into his face, and then his wife came and got him out. Uh, stuck it. She got a bowl. Attention guests. 
in case of emergency. Is in the that up. Hey, eyes up. Something's out there. <laughs> I see you. Oh, those are those ants for things. Interstellar Theater will be Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Not recommended for children under five. those uh, mutant alligator things from the area. wonder what the game is actually doing. Never been here. Sito, no like this place. Sito. New friend done? No more. And they should not. Sito. Mm -hmm. How Sito? I have. Sito, trust you. Before go. Uh -huh. Thank you, new friend. Okay. The hell? Knows ain't never gonna work right after this. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Take some of my stuff. Oh, uh, what's up? Well, the hide is not actually particularly as valuable, but it's not, in my view, particularly. Uh, see, if we drop one hide, that'll put us under the carry limit. Heads up. What you need? Grab that. From here? No, boss. I can't do that. Well, then come here. Never mind. Okay, boss. So, what this did, there's a whole bunch of zones in Nuka World, and you can give them to various gangs. And so, we're going to head out to the treehouse and decide which gang is going to get this. Now, I favor the operators, but I think the pack would fit the theme of this area the best. So that's what I'm going to do.
Attention parents. We still have 14 unclaimed children recovered from the funhouse. You can pick them up at the entrance to Kitty Kingdom. So, that is the pack, and that is what we have to do for the rest of the areas. I mean, not quite the same thing, but, uh, but we have to do, we have a whole bunch of different tones, and we have to decide what, uh, Attention. what Raider Gang gets each We're other. happy to announce that Mad Mulligan's minecart ride has finally reopened with stronger restraints following last year's tragedy. So we're going to swing back by Nuka World Red Rocket and drop off our stuff. Heads up. More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. I'm gonna stuff. trust you know what you're doing. Do all that and and that and that all sorts of crazy stuff. Now eventually we are going to hook this settlement up to, uh, to all of our other ones, so this stuff will flow together, it's just it's going to be a little while until it does. Let's play. Next, we will pick one of the other parks and uh, and do the same thing. Uh, I will think. I don't know. I might do the bottling plant next. Anyhow, take care. Uh, this has been my let's play. Bye.